Welcome back. We have gotten the data sniffer from Mira here. And we'll have to use it to find those access points and get the data for Broody. Meanwhile, we're also trying to find Hannah. We've got to lead into those towers for that. So, while we're walking around looking for the data access points, we might as well keep an eye on those towers as well. Citizens, pay close attention to the following message. If you have good business outside, please... Let's see if we can figure out how to get into them. Crowboy gave us a map of those. We also have Nera's tracker, which we need to turn on, and she would call us to tell us what we need to do next. Let's take a look. Nera's app, a cloak and tracker. Talk about inconspicuous app icon. Not exactly, no. At least the cloak that we got from Liv in the previous game, like, look. Uh, like, I think we had a choice of multiple icons, didn't we? It'll run in my iris once I've activated it. Okay, let's do so. Iris, please activate Mira's cloak and turn on the data sniffer. Secret Agent Zoe. I hate to admit it, but this is a bit exciting. Okay, Mira's calling. I just got a ping from your iris. Your vitals look normal, so I'm guessing my software didn't cause any permanent neural damage. Yet. Oh, for God's sake! Here's what you need to know, Petal. This is not a magic wand. You can't just wave it around and... Well, actually, it is a magic wand. Once you activate it, it'll scan for hidden wire singularities. The closer you are to a secure access point, the stronger the signal. You'll receive visual and oral indicators. Once you're close enough, you can establish a direct link. Log in and start downloading your data. Juicy Don't stay too long here. in one spot. Christmas Use multiple switches. access points, Tradition. or the syndicate sniffers could track you down. All set? Wait, I don't know if Come I can... Come back when you have the data, and I'll decrypt it for you. And remember, Kutia, if you get caught, we never fucking met. <sighs> well, that sounds nice. I hope she was lying about the whole, you know, neural damage thing. I can never quite tell if she's joking. Anyway, we have an arrow in our uh, iris, I guess. And uh, some bars that indicate how close you are, as well as an audio marker. So there seems to be an access point in this direction. We already see this one, this hatch. This is the one she went into, right? I think we did. And we can't open it. It should be on our map then. Indeed, that's the one we saw, and it's this symbol. It sounds like a remix of a song we've heard before, actually. In Dreamful. Anyway, let's see if we can find the access point. We seem to be getting closer here. Wait, it's... It's Queenie's boat? Wait, there's a hidden access point on Queenie's boat? That's odd. Who operates their own singularity? I can't use her singularity to download the data. I won't risk Queenie getting caught up in this. That seems like a sensible thing to do. I don't want to piss Queenie off while we're doing all of this. The next one is um, over that way. Figuring out how to get over that way can be somewhat complicated. What with all the closures. I don't think I can go up the stairs here. Oh, I can. I guess this closure is gone. There is also another tower over here. Yeah, I'm just doing two things at once. Why not? This one is purple, with a sort of triangle-shaped icon. No indication of how to open it, and we can't even access it. 
You can do the same thing on all of these pillars, like touch them and listen to them. Which is just to alert you of the difference between the towers, and is kind of useless after you've spoken to Crowboy and gotten the map. Alright, what's up here? It's Zonenshine Plaza, we knew that. And the singularity is in the artificial sun. Makes sense, actually. So we did say that that's where the singularity was in the, I think, part one, or book one. There's a wire access point inside OCG's artificial sun, just like everyone's been saying. And we can use this one. All right, let's do this. First account, logging in. Ah, oh, success! Downloading the first chunk of data. Oh shit, Cloak's giving me a warning. I need to log out. I got 37%. Yeah, okay. I'll need to find another access point and use the second account. All right, looks like we'll only need to do this three times. Because we now have 37% of the data downloaded. Find remaining data over at other wire singularities. Let's hope there are enough of them. I want a phone that integrates with my eyes. That would be kind of cool. Um, I don't think there's anything else here. There are towers here. Do any of them not have steam? That one does not. Move along. Nothing to see here. I was moving along just fine until you said something. Something's stuck in the hatch. Oh. What's that? Yellow keyhead. Let's take a look at that. That looks like the symbol we saw on the yellow hatch before. The fact that it says key head makes me think there's more to this. It's a key to one of those hatches. It's a key to one of those hatches. And... So we now know two locations where the yellow key is to be used, where the first girl went inside, and... Uh, right here. Don't... We haven't seen the purple symbol anywhere else yet. So, can we open this with this? It fits into the lock, but I can't pull it open without some sort of handle. Okay, so I guess we need more pieces of this key thing. Um, there's more towers here, actually. There's one, but steam's coming out of it, so I don't think that um, that's one we should be interested in. Let's take a look anyway. This one looks active, whatever that means. It's warm, almost hot. There's a hum, like electrical circuitry, or a fan. This would presumably not be a safe place for anybody to go on underground if steam's coming out of it. It does have a yellow thing on it. I wonder if you could actually do that. No, you could not, because it has steam on it. It also doesn't get marked on the map, which is kind of annoying, which means it's... Um, hi there. Don't worry, I'm just busy in not one, but two illegal activities at the same time. And there's another tower over there, which also has steam. It's kind of annoying that they don't get indicated on the map, because it means that you need to remember the ones with steam that you've actually been to. Let's see. Where's this other wire singularity? Oh, there's another one that has steam coming out of it. And that's problematic, because I actually think we need to go up here for the next one, because I kind of actually know where it is. Um, we cannot go up here, however. We have found other places where we can go up. Well, might as well check out more towers while we're here. That's um, the eye checkpoint, and that's where we met Nella last time. Another tower that's active, so not of any interest.
The following is a security announcement. All I operatives are authorized to use deadly force. Avoid crowds. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay connected to your dream machines. There's an access point up on that wall. I guess they installed it when the eye took over the building. I can't use that access point. Not unless I really, really want to get caught. Yeah, that's probably not so good for your health. Oh well, we'll have to find other ones. Towers! Hey, this one's open. Oh! oh. Okay, another member of the Dragonfly gang. Still not Hannah, though. But he dropped something. That girl must have dropped this coming out of the hatch. It's some sort of tool. It's a blue key. Access key 034 activated. Huh. The tool used to unlock and open the hatches. The tool used to unlock and open the hatches. Um, we can do something with this. Oh, we can dismantle it and put the other key head on it. That makes sense. So now we should be able to open those yellow hatches. Can we go into this one? It's completely stuck. I guess the answer to that is no. This is a blue one, which is makes sense considering that's the key he was carrying. So that's this one over here. There is another one there. And that's... oh, that's over there. But it's active, so that's not one we want. Um, we need to get up the stairs, which you can do from the river, but not through there. Because it's blocked. I'm happy at least that one staircase was not blocked anymore. That saves us some walking. I think we can go through here. Yes, we can. Oh, and it looks like my iris deactivated. Let's turn that back on. There we go. So in case we walk past any more singularities, we won't miss them. There does seem to be another one in this location. It does not Ding indicate ones traffic. you've already um, seen, so... Um, it does not Queenie's one again. It has to be around here somewhere. Aha! It's the Wadi Corp logo. There's an access point embedded in the base of the Wati logo. Makes sense. Does it? I guess. Let's use it. Here we go again. Logging in. Downloading. And time to pull out. 81%. Almost there. One more access point and I should have all the data. Let's hope so. We've got 81%. And that one is all over there, somewhere in the distance. It doesn't look close. So, I think that's the one we already saw before. Which is up on the walkway, and I think that's actually the only one that's left. So, that should be good. We'll be done with this. Any more towers here? Yes, there are. But it's active, so that's not helpful. Um, right, it's down there. I almost forgot where to go, which is not great. There it is, is the door next to our lab. There's a live access point inside. Weird. I haven't ever seen anyone use this lab. 
Interesting. Last one. I'm getting paranoid about warning signals going off somewhere. 97%, 98... Oh, that's it. That's all of it. Yay, Zoe! Oh, shit. It's encrypted. Just like Mira said it would be. Figures. Well, I don't have a choice. I'll have to go back to see Mira. Indeed, we have to bring the data to Mira for encryption. Can we find anything out about this? All I operatives are authorized to use deadly force. They use the door scan, that's all we can find out. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay connected. There's no um nice and easy evil corporation logo there. Can we actually go back to the lab? I'm not entirely sure. Doesn't look like it. Anyway, we got our data. Got to bring it back to Mira. Which means we basically need to go back to where we just came to go downstairs and then turn left there. Not much happening here anymore now, actually. <laughs> no conversations left over here. Well, I guess that does speed my progress up a little bit. I'm not convinced the other staircase is open, so I'm going down this one. I think it is, but... Not gonna make an awful lot of difference. Um, how do I get down here again? Oh yeah, there. Oh, here's another tower that we haven't seen yet. And it's blue! Well, that suits me fine, I have a blue key. Um, we need to disassemble this again, which is kind of annoying. And put the blue key on it again. And let's see if it works. Cease and desist, citizen. You are about to commit an act of terrorism against government property. I've been authorized to use deadly force if you do not immediately cease and desist. Okay. Um, well, I guess we can't get into this one for now anyway. Anyway, we're going to Mira first. Maybe we can go into another one. This one's active. Yeah, see, these stairs are blocked, so it's good I went the uh, other way. And there's Mira, and what's going on here? It is Shitbot, who is actually the bot you get if you work for Mira in the uh, unknown path. Instead of Kidbot, you get to work with this one, who is really funny, so if you haven't looked that up yet or played it yourself, you should really do so. Wow, ding. Wow, ding. Wow, ding. Wow, ding. Hey, uh, excuse me? I need to get inside? Certainly, human. Please be advised that approaching the door will activate perimeter defenses. Oh, uh... You will experience momentary discomfort as 80,000 volts are applied to your fleshy bits. Fortunately, the discomfort will be momentary as your neural pathways will quickly melt and your heart will explode. Ah. So, um, when can I pass through without anything exploding or melting? When I've finished welding, the human inside will be able to properly regulate perimeter defenses again. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll come back later. Good call, human. Yeah! Let's not go in there. Indeed, um, you cannot go back inside Pandemonium until you've done the Finding Hannah quest. And um, it shows up here as Wait for Shitbot to repair the perimeter defenses. And Shitbot is really, really obsessed with welding. <laughs> Oh. So, um... No. When... when I... Yeah, y you know? Good call. I was hoping maybe he'd have something more funny to say, but he does not. 
Anyway, here's another one of those towers that we saw with, uh, I think this is a yellow key. So, let's try that one. There's no inconvenient eye operatives standing around here. Oh, I need to do this again. There we go. Put the yellow key on. It works! Yeah, so technically that's the same problem that Dreamful had with not being able to animate people going through doors, but at least they, um, you know, get around it a little bit more cleverly with a fade rather than just having people disappear in front of the horse. Let's see, it looks like we're in the sewers, I guess? And there is a girl there. Nothing else, as far as I can tell. Is that Hannah? That's the girl I saw on the street. She's completely lost in dream time. So unfortunately, not Hannah. She's connected to a dream machine. Let's hope we can wake her up so she can tell us where Hannah is. That's the girl I saw on the street. What She's completely do you want? lost in dream time. Go away, I'm dreaming. Can you please disconnect from that thing and talk to me? I don't know you. Leave me alone. I need to get through to her somehow. It would help if I knew something about her relationship to Hannah. So we have a new goal. We need to learn more about Hannah from Abby. This is Abby, I guess. But in order to get through to her, we need to have something we can use for that. Something about her relationship to Hannah, which we're not going to find here. Get out of here. You're ruining my dream. I need to get through to her somehow. It would help if I knew something about her relationship to Hannah. Is she asleep here? Man, that's depressing. I don't know if we can do anything about that. Be nice if we could help her, but... I doubt Zoe has time for that in between saving the world and things of that nature. Um, we do, however, need to find out something about her relationship with Hana. But where? We've pretty much seen all of the the towers. I guess there's two more in the Sook that we have not seen. This one we don't have the key for. That just leaves this one, I guess. I wonder if there's a way we could use to get in there. Without being spotted by that particular uh, eye operative. Maybe we can distract him somehow. But how? I don't exactly see anything here. The new dream machine by Monty opens up a world of entertainment. Those fingers are annoying. I hate adbots. They're like mosquitoes, constantly buzzing, blood sucking parasites. I've not actually shown you what an adbot does, have I? Greetings, consumer. You are looking absolutely radiant today. May I have a minute of your time to tell you about the new Wattie dream machine? Um, Maybe he can just if give a short thing bunch. Up, I'll ask for the three second pitch. Okay, fine, but make it super brief. Escape with the new Wattie dream machine. Now with personalized dreams. Giving you the experience... That's enough. I I'll think about it. Thank you for your time. And sweet dreams. What happens if you do the longer one? You are looking absolutely radiant today. May I have a minute of your time to tell you about the new Wattie dream machine? 
I wonder what will happen if I ask for the full sales pitch. Yes, I do have a minute, and I am interested in learning more about the Dream Machine. Please give me your whole pitch. Leave nothing out. The new Dream Machine by Monty Aha! Uh -huh. It shows a large advertisement. I have a dreamer already. Thanks all the same. That's not so much of use here, but what if we could do that while we're here so that it blocks this guy's view of us? That would be very useful indeed. You are looking absolutely radiant today. May I have a minute of your time to tell you about the new Wati Dream Machine? Yes, you can I have what will happen if I ask for the full more than a minute. Page. We're not actually going to stand here and listen to it, but please tell us everything you uh, have to tell. Yes, I do have a minute, and I am interested in learning more about the Dream Machine. Please give me your whole pitch. Leave nothing out. The new dream machine by it works! Doesn't look like he has a very clear view of us anymore. So hopefully we can use our key, which I need to switch over to blue again. There we go! Looks like it works. This is another puzzle that my wife actually figured out before I did. Let's hope he'll still be there when we get back out, because otherwise we could be in a lot of trouble. Fort Hannah. Well, that seems promising. And those images look strangely familiar, don't they? Let's look around. Looks like there's some dreamers over here. Dreamers. What's Hannah doing with all these dream machines? Fort Hannah. Cute. Yeah, it would be cute if she weren't living in a hole under a street. Fort Hannah. Cute. They must be stolen goods. There's tens of thousands in merchandise here. Well, we didn't know they were thieves. Dreamers. What's Hannah doing with all these dream machines? That doesn't look comfortable. Poor girl. Having to live like this. That doesn't even look visible. I can't tell there's a mattress there. This is no way for a teenage girl to live. Definitely not. Someone must have left in a hurry. Are those Nella's sausages? I hope Hannah didn't eat any. Yeah, she would have gotten sick. A half-eaten meal. What's this stuff? That looks very familiar. Wait. Are these drawings of... The mountains I saw in my dreams, and that creature, the, uh, the Ula. How is that possible? How could Hannah know about my dreams? That's a very good question. The only other person we know who could dream of things in Arcadia was Faith, and she's gone, isn't she? That's very weird. Yeah, but that's definitely the kid we saw in the dream and that weird Ular creature. Are those supposed to be the mountains, I guess? Actually, that looks like the place where April met the white dragon in Long's journey in the um, in her dream in the beginning. Hmm. Who is Hannah and why is she having dreams like that? That is very peculiar. I've seen these images before, in my dreams, and I recognize them. I've seen these oh. images before, in my dreams, and I recognize them. I am not allowed to skip that. Hannah herself seems to be absent. She's quite the artist, isn't she? What is that? Is that Mercuria? With the tower in the background? I think it is. Interesting. 
So someone else has the same reaction to the dreamer that Zoe has. It looks like electronic parts. I don't recognize any of them. Huh. And a photo. It's a picture of two girls. That's the girl I saw earlier. And the other one... Is that Hannah? It must be. She matches Nella's description. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, that's the girl we saw. So this must be Hannah with the pink hair. Abby and Hannah forever. The pink-haired girl is Hannah. That other girl must be Abby. They look like good friends. Indeed. Maybe this is something we can show to Abby to snap her out of her dream state and get her to talk to us. Hannah and her friend Abby. Hopefully she will be able to tell us where Hannah is, because she's obviously not here anymore. Can't really tell if she's been here recently. The leftovers don't give us enough information for that. Wonder if the ad bot is still there? And it is! Still talking about the dream machine. I guess I didn't notice that we wandered off. Good thing too, because the cop couldn't see us come out. Anyway, I guess we should go back and see if Abby, apparently, um, you can tell us about Hannah now that we've found that. Hopefully she will be more cooperative, but we'll find that out in the next video.